Hey there everybody, this is Tyler Tapper. So happy to be with you guys here today. We're going to be doing a project where I'm going to be cannibalizing some old headphones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those headphones and I'm going to put them in a set of earmuffs, like the hearing protection kind you'd use for using a bandsaw or a sander or a drill press or something like that. So the first thing I have to do is get these headphones apart. I'm trying to get them apart and I'm trying to keep the longest amount of wire I can on the end of these speakers so I'll have something to solder to. Now this step of course is going to be different depending on whatever kind of headphones you found to cannibalize. So with the individual speakers free, I'm ready to throw away the original headphones. So at this point, I really wanted to kind of explore them and figure out exactly what I was working with under all of the padding and everything like that. So I tore it all off and I realized they were actually in a couple of different pieces under there, so I had to take the grill off. So one of the issues I always run into with these little projects is I always tear little wires off. I wanted to get back there. I got some hot glue and I just reinforced these so I wouldn't be pulling on the speaker leads. So with that all taken care of, the next thing was I went over to Harbor Freight and I got a set of their premium headphones. I think they're all about 10 bucks. And after I tore into them, I realized in short order that those headphones wouldn't quite fit into there. So I decided I had to get out the calipers and see exactly how big the opening was so I could trim them down to the right size. So off camera, I tried to hacksaw them a little bit. It was just kind of slipping around and I figured it might be a little easier to just throw them on the belt sander and that worked really well to get the plastic down. So I ordered this set of headphone ins on eBay. I wanted to be able to take the headphone jack out of these if I wanted to just use them as regular hearing protection and not, you know, have any music going through them. If you're searching for these on eBay or Amazon, I think I use the search term phono female jack in and I got some of them. So you saw me drill a hole through there that was the right size for the phono jack to sit through. I ended up having to get the case a little bit thinner because the bolt on the end of there would not thread onto there. There just wasn't quite enough threads on there. After I sat it down, it got on there perfect. So here what I'm doing is I'm preparing the wire. This is just a RCA to phono cord that I had sitting around. It had the right amount of channels and wires in it. I'm stripping off the positives, the negatives. I'm actually gonna to twist together because on the input, that's the same terminal. So if I do much more of this, I'd really like to invest in a soldering station. The one I have is one of those trigger pull really heavy guns. It was pretty awkward to try and do this uh, really precise work with it. But I mean, that said, I got it done. Uh, I like to use the lead solder, not the lead-free stuff. It just really doesn't flow quite as well. These helper hands are really good, too. They're, they're pretty cheap. You can get them on eBay, Amazon, anything like that. But I'm not good enough to hold in one hand and hold the solder in the other hand and hold the gun in the other hand. It's just too many moving parts for me. I only wanted to have to plug in on one side of these headphones. So what I'm doing is I'm drilling a hole on the top of both of them and I'm just running a wire from one headphone over to the other one. I didn't bother sealing these holes. I think I might put a little bit of hot glue on these in the future just so there's no wire chafing or anything like that with the movement of them. In the shot right here, you can see in a little bit better detail how that little jack just gets trapped on there. You just thread that bolt right on top of it and tighten it down. Now I'm kind of testing it. I put all of the headphone packing back in there. I had also decided that I'd use the original headphone ear pads inside there. I figured if nothing else, it would give a little bit more sound deadening after they were together. When I started the project, I'd been a little bit worried about how I was going to get power from one ear to the other because how these work is they're kind of on a slider and they kind of tilt and I wasn't really sure if all the wires were going to get caught up in there when they were going over the top of the headphones. So. I just used a set of zip ties on there. I did a couple of them in different increments and so far so good. I haven't had any of the breakage or chafing or anything that I was worried about. So soldering up the other speaker here, my tip got a little bit loaded up with some kind of funky solder. So all you gotta do is to kind of flick it off against something that's not gonna get hurt by the heat. At this point, it was time to get the headphone in the other ear, get all the foam padding back in there. And finally, I could actually take a chance to put them on my head and listen to them. Now, unfortunately, what I found was that they didn't really sound that great, and I traced it back to that they weren't quite close enough to the ear. So I went around the garage and looked for something I could use to make a little spacer out of. This stuff was about perfect. It's used to throw into your car whenever there's an oil leak or something like that. I figured it was fibrous. I figured it would actually help insulate it a little bit better against outside noise, and it would, most importantly, space that speaker right next to your ear when it was sitting in there. And really spacing them out made a world of difference. They sounded great after they were sitting up right next to your ear. 
So thank you guys so much for coming and watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you'd like more content like this, please click that subscribe button. Otherwise, I'll be back to you guys as soon as possible with more videos.